hello guys welcome once again in the last video I have shown you how to download and install the new DLL files for connecting SQLite with your WPF C sharp application earlier in the video number second and no third and fourth video number th third and fourth I have shown you how to connect your database using finis dot uh, SQLite library but uh, in the last video I have shown you how to download and install this new library called system.data.sklite library which we are going to use because it's much flexible than finisher.sklite library so in the last video I have shown you how to install that new library so if you don't know uh, and if you haven't seen uh, this last video and you are just have s just seen the third and fourth video then I'm not using those library finisher libraries I'm using the these Esquilite new library which is called system.data.esquilite DLL files now in this video I will show you how to create a login page but before that if you have done installing these uh, system.data.sklite you need to change some settings in your projects so what setting you need to change I will show you first so just right click your project and click this property here and in here you need to change these properties so go to target framework and instead of using dotnet framework for client profile we are going to use dotnet framework 4 from here it will give a warning just say yes and once you have clicked yes it will generate this app.config file so when you do the settings dotnet framework 4 then it will create this app.config file automatically and it will disappear your older opened file so once again you can open those files from here and this app.config is a new file so just open this file from here and what we are going to do here is instead of this code uh, which is a startup code in this app.config file I will just make it bigger so you can see it better so this app.config file contains this startup code for this framework dotnet framework 4 version 4 so just instead of this startup code here which is in between this startup tags here and here just remove this code from here so I remove that code and in this configuration tag in between I will add a new startup code which is like this so if you want just pause the video and copy this code I have written this startup start and end code and here I have given this line called use legacy v2 runtime activation policy is equal to true in the double quotes and in this startup code tag I have given a uh, tag called supported runtime version is equal to v4.0 in the double tag so if you want just pause the video and just copy this code here in the app.config file once you have done that you are now ready to write your login page code so 
I think by now you are familiar with the SQLite database how to create this SQLite database and if you don't know how to create this uh, SQLite database you can just uh, go to my SQLite database tutorial I have this in my playlist just search for them and you can see that and you ca can create your own database so what I have done is I have created a database which is called database.db here and I am opening this database in my SQLite manager which is a plugin from Firefox and I have created a table in this database.db called employee info and I have created given one two three four five six columns in this database first is EID which is employee ID second is name third column is surname fourth column is age fifth is username and sixth is for password so this username and password we are going to use for making our login page so I have done this simple uh, database and I have created this simple employee table with these six columns and now we are going to use this database.db in our file so now what I will do is I will go to my WPF application and I will take two text boxes from here so text box 1 and text box 2 and I will just make it a little bit smaller so I can give a label also so I will take two labels from here also label 1 and label 2 and this label I will change it as user name and second name I will change it as password and this first text box name I will give it as user name and second text box I will name it as password okay or I will just name it as txt underscore password so it will be more appropriate for the text box here also txt underscores username okay now I will double click this button and in here first of all let's change this button caption also instead of using this test name I am changing it as login now it's looking better and now I will dub double click this login button here and we are just having no code here in the last video I have just added this using system dot data dot SQLite for connecting my SQLite library with this WPF application so in here in this code you need to declare your database location first so just below your this public partial class which is your main window partial class just go below there and write this code I will just make it bigger so it will be visible okay so declare this 
first write string and give it a string variable name in my case db connection string is equal to write this at the rate sign and then give double quotes and inside this double quote write data dash source is equal to your database name because my database is in my debug folder of my project that's why I'm not providing any path if it is outside your debug folder or where wherever your this exe file is there then you what you can do is just right click and just go to security and just copy this path and you can just paste it here and when it shows error just give these double slashes here so because it's in my debug folder i don't need to give the, this long path 